It was time for Bethlehem to start promoting their new product. Their 1907 catalog highlighted the many advantages World Shapes brought to the project. It emphasized how the new wide flange columns formed a true family of shapes. They allowed floors to stack cleanly and connections to line up without the awkward transitions common in built-up sections. Meanwhile, back in Luxembourg, the Differdange mill hadn't stopped trying new ideas. And in 1911, they achieved another first, successfully rolling the world's first one meter deep beam, which they still make to this day. Wide flange shapes continued to evolve after Bethlehem entered the market. In the decades that followed, demand accelerated, new producers came online, and the size range pushed steadily upward. In early Bethlehem catalogs, heavy columns topped out around 291 pounds per foot. When AISC published its first manual in 1927, the upper limit had already grown to 427 pounds per foot. The next major jump arrived with the 14 by 730 in the 1977th edition. And four decades later, the W14 by 873 joined the lineup. Introduced by the very same Luxembourg mill, that had adopted Henry Gray's universal process more than a century earlier. 